Welcome to this segment. Nipsey gave me a formula to do for Shannon's grandmother. Her name is Shirley. Um, I mixed up that is uh, Palo Santo sticks along with other herbs and some of the dragon's blood sage and the 24k blue 24k gold nipsey blue uh sage sticks her grandmother physically died last week it took her about two or three weeks because hey y'all i love y'all thank you for loving me and supporting me i was gonna put it in the yard i was trying to wait for it to get a blaze first you can see the palo santo I have different herbs and herbal oils in there. I'm going to let this burn because I couldn't let it burn in the inside. But I'm going to let it burn to um, take a hold and then hopefully light the Palo Santo sticks. And he told me that I need to do this. See, it's really smoky. I'm glad I, I didn't do it in the house. Do this outside to speak to the person's spirit and Shannon um I told her that it probably will never end it'll always be that way she's going through withdrawal because she knew her grandmother ever since she was born and her mother would also leave her with her grandmother to take care of her and her grandmother was her number one cheerleader and support team for her so this is very hard for her not physically having her, but I know the grandmother's around because whenever I talk to Shannon, I can see and hear her grandmother still in the, in the bedroom and walking through the house and her dog is there, Winnie. And she wanted me, she, uh, she got the candles I told her to get. And I have them on the altar with Nipsey's to see if Granny wants to give me a message because you know, they don't always feel comfortable with everybody. You see that it's burning pretty good. The dragon's blood sage and the 24k blue is burning i know so love to miss shan what a crazy stuff <laughs> my number one hype woman i'm so glad y'all love her she gets me going and so i have to do the same thing her uncle gary has been over here for a while and that's his mom shannon's grandma is his mom so he's he hasn't been really over as much he's been here but he's happy to be with his mom again I'm going to put, he told me to put this out in the yard. I know y'all love Shannon. I love her too. And I'm doing something different that he told me to do where, like I sing to him. People like to be sung to. That helps them on many different levels, depending on what song they like, how they like it. So, um, I'm dealing with a really bad allergy. I'm all puffy and stuff. And too, I'm dealing with cleaning up some more leaks in my house. I actually had Water World over here <laughs> the past week or so, and um, I'll wait. I hope you all can hear me. I'm trying not to talk too loud because I don't want to damage. I don't want to strain my voice. I'm trying. I'm just gonna try to do it in a way that Nipsey told me to, and the uh, spirits told me to. But it's right here at the front door, so I don't want it here at the front door. I want it in the yard. So, let me try to move it. I have a metal pan underneath there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. I'm going to let it stay here. Uh, okay, where I put it at, it's like on some rocks. Ah, it's so smoky. But I know it won't hurt anything because it's just right there on the dirt. Um... And you all are going to see me as I'm going through a transformation. I'm going to take the yard through a transformation. And I'm glad y'all here with me to love me and support me and help me do it. Hope it doesn't get too, it shouldn't get really too out of control. I guess I can stand here because I got on the plastic booties under my feet. So I won't track mud all in the house. It's doing better than I expected. And then this is it's wet out here. It's been raining. So her name's Shirley. So I'm calling Shirley. Or Shannon. Calling Shirley Desigran Matriarch. 
and y'all the female women get ready if your period's on right now it's a very powerful time don't throw all of your blood away you want to keep it for rituals and protection for you your children and your family i think with october 14th we have a birthing eclipse very very powerful and i'm also healing and coming to my power as well and i feel the vibration underneath my feet so get ready you all women and set your altars up to do your cleansing your money your wealth your uncrossing whatever you want to focus on right now because we're going to the birthing ritual that's one of the names it's called for uh, it's it, i think it's an eclipse correct me if i'm wrong y'all october 14th just in a couple of days birthing uh many things and standing in vagina power and coming into it i'm actually coming into it never yes been given a message but was ashamed of my vagina was ashamed of my life ashamed of being a woman actually nipsey helped me with that and to embrace my pussy as he said <laughs> coming to my power and taught me how to dance I, <laughs> you guys are amazing. I love y'all. Y'all have encouraged me with the video I just did and loved me and clicked like on it and put wonderful comments under the videos. I'm just learning how to dance and get in shape. I have never, ever <laughs> danced. Definitely never been on a video to dance and nobody taught me how to dance. That's why I like to watch the strippers. Oh, fuck. You know what? Uh-uh. I'm going to have to go back a little bit because, let me see, let me put this on the sidewalk. I just saw some mosquitoes, and I can't get that goddamn Ebola in that motherfucking West Nile, goddamn it. So let me move this a little bit closer, put it back ugh, on the sidewalk, and take my ass up here. But then again, I think if I stand around the smoke, I'm just going to wash my clothes. They probably won't get to me as bad. Damn, the fire done went out, and this is smoke around it i smoke my damn pussy let me lift my leg up on this motherfucker lift my damn leg up uh whoo smoke my pussy you know what i'm saying so y'all got to smoke your shit get your sage <coughs> so i spoke of your damn pussy child thank you christy i know when i look back at it and I thought y'all was going to laugh at me i kind of laughed too because i was like damn how you switch your ass like that god damn it i mean I didn't even know what I was going to do. I just kind of get out, got outside and went into a zone and just did it. I didn't practice it. And I'm like, damn, bitch, how you been over and bounce your ass with your finger on the goddamn ground? Wait a minute. Uh, I'm going to have to turn the air off because I know y'all, damn, it's smoky as fuck. Hold on. Let me go in the house and turn the air off. Hold on. Whew, hold on. Okay. God damn, it's smoky as fuck out here. <coughs> I'm sorry. It is so, and you see how it's going up? You see that? It's going up in the trees. It's doing its own thing. <sighs> that right, Christine, smoke that pee. Throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that pee. Throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that. Throw that, throw that. You got to smoke these niggas' dicks, too. Smoke all in their ass and smoke their nuts. <sighs> I wish I had a chair because I'm getting a little dizzy. <sighs> but I'll try to chant. Let me lean up against the wall. <sighs> Shirley, we're calling you Shirley for Shannon. Your favorite God, baby. And your daughter, you raised. She misses you. She's crying about you every day. She's thinking about you all day and all night you are her love her mama she wants to hear from you but i told her you had to be comfortable with me or someone else 
she trusted look at that so it's curving and going up into the air to the tree we're calling you Shirley for Shannon I was talking to her last night and she misses you and it's so hard for her to even get through her days without you she didn't want you to physically go she wants to know if you have been around her I told you you're around her she wants to know if you want to talk to her I told her you were already with her talking to her Ugh. smoke oh boy you see this goddamn now it's coming towards me Whew. so ah uh, I guess that's a yes damn <coughs> 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 damn it started blowing right up over here you see that shit damn Shirley wait a minute now nah. I got to move I can't halfway breathe but she feels like she can't breathe without you. I told you you'll never leave her. You haven't gone to the other side, even though you're physically gone. So she wants to know if you will speak to her, Shirley. Isn't that something, Shirley and Shannon? <laughs> Hope you, can you see that? Like I'm saying, it's right here in my face. Right here on the goddamn porch. coming right where I am and getting in my damn throat. <coughs> oh, shit. <sighs> See if I stand out here. <coughs> Gotta drink something in a minute. sending a spiritual message to to her Thank <laughs> you. 
not see a play no Maria Grazia Pleno Ave Ave Dominus Dominus Tecum that was the song Nipsey said I should sing to her first. For you all that don't know, look it up. Ave Maria. That would be the grandmother or the mother of Christ. The first mother that gives birth. And she would be the first mother of Shannon's family because she is Shannon's mother's mother. And the mother to so many in her family. So... And then we're moving into, hey, um, Sarah, hi, everybody. I'm, this is my first time doing it. I'm just following the spirits. I'm trying to do what they tell me to do and understand. So that's the song Nipsey picked to call the grandmother. Since she's the first mother, Ave Maria. Whew. My grandmother's name is Maria. Wow. Yes, play that song for her. Ooh, ooh. My favorite, one of my favorite singers is Barbara Streisand. I love the way she sings it. I'm so hot. And I listened to it. And I asked, was he sure? And then I put the um that's palo santo wood along with the blue sage and the 24k gold dragon's blood sage see some of it dropped there with the gold on it oh boy <clears throat> so i'm gonna see if i feel i feel a lot of vibration out here on on the ground right now <sighs> oh what was that popping oh that was my tree the big tree and her candles are lit, and Nipsey's candles are lit. And I'm gonna see what she, when she's ready, if she's wanting to say, I think I feel her, I feel Shirley. <sighs> she loves Shannon. She doesn't want Shannon to worry. She wants Shannon to stop fretting, stop crying, stop worrying. Not just about her, it's like, girl, I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's feisty if shannon knows that about her she's feisty got a little temper she stop it with something getting on her nerves stop the whining stop crying stop looking for me i'm right here i'm hearing that song patrice Reshin, haven't you heard and she's like i'm right here i'm not gonna leave you i'm not going anyway gal stop it i don't know if she ever used the word gal or she said girl or <laughs> she's like you know, you'll always be my baby. You know, I'll always be with you. I'm not leaving you. It's like my body. I feel like my, she said she feels like her body betrayed her and let her down. But she said she also understands now that her illness was a result of a lot of pain and conflict she hid or she acted like things didn't bother her, but they did. And she didn't resolve them or confront everyone and her own pain and inadequacies and insecurities. She felt like you can't show that. You have to be strong. You have to be, you can't be weak. You can't be seen as weak. So I held these things and I didn't do everything or I didn't understand a note to do everything for my own life, for my own body and people I should have, she said family drama, conflict, stuff getting on her nerves, people getting on her nerves, people not standing in their power being who they're supposed to be. She said and a lot of things she kept quiet about and let, let go on that she's investigating now and looking at and visiting people now and wanting to raise hell and she's feeling rage. She's feeling anger and rage because she said, I could have been saved. There are other things that could have been done for me. I could have been saved. I don't know if you can see it, but that smoke, all that smoke. <sighs> <sighs> I don't feel like a calm. I was feeling really agitated. <sighs> I feel a calm. 
you're absolutely right and that's what i'm gonna do when i get off of she's like get the box out, out of the yard get the trash out of the yard i'm like it's a box it's not garbage it's she's like get it out of the yard i don't like the clutter i'm like okay <laughs> yes miss shirley i will get it out when we get off of here i will sweep the sidewalk get the trees and debris and stuff off here i probably <laughs> she's bossy i see that everything has to go <laughs> her way or if she doesn't feel comfortable She's not going to stay. She's not going to hang around. Yeah, I guess I got my work cut off me. You're absolutely right. I was looking for someone supposed to come and help me with it, but you're right. I guess I can't wait for anybody. I wait for a man to do it. I got to do it myself. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm hot as hell right now. This is my first attempt. I don't, you saw there's some letters between personalities of Miss Shirley and Shannon. I don't know, Latoya, I'm still learning her. And Shannon told me how her mom, her, her grandma, Miss Shirley, would get on you if your fingernails, even if she didn't know you that well, your fingernails, your toenails looked like some claws. She would say, oh, baby, when last time you got your toes and hands done? Oh, you're going to have to go with me. Cause, and she told Shannon, Shannon knew not to come to her funeral with her hands and feet not done. So she would just tell people, look, honey, you got the money, honey, I'll pay for it. Come on, let's go to the shop because you can't be walking around here with your fingernails and toenails like that. So she said she just say. <laughs> She's very bossy and just whatever comes up, comes out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Monica. You know what? Now it's my favorite. It's like I love um, what's the... Um, I love the different versions of Ave Maria and um, the opera, the man that sings opera. Uh, he's Italian. I forgot. He has a big stomach. I don't know if he's still um, Pavarotti, I think. I love the way he sings it, but my favorite's Barbara Streisand. So I was kind of, I was playing a me melody of her. He said, what's the, uh, uh, yeah, she is on field <laughs> like me. Yeah. And she's already getting on me. Get the box out of her. She's like, I was like, it's, I couldn't lift it at the time. She's like, I don't care. Get it out. So I sense that she doesn't like clutter. And that's is if that's stopping her from hanging around as much, I'm going to do it now when I get up here. Because she just made a comment about the box. She's like, just do them all yourself. Stop waiting for some man to come do it. So if they can't do it and you can't crush them all yourself fast, just take your time and do it. She's like, you have to take your own initiative to do things that you want other people to help you do. And as you do it and believe in yourself, people will show up. You're right, Miss Shirley. I've just been so tired. I'm working now and so I'm starting to exercise to get the energy. So um, I'm not going to argue with you. Okay, I will do the best I can. <laughs> I will pick up what I can. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Believe in yourself. Stand up for yourself because she's saying a lot of times she... She let people stifle her voice, and she held her voice, and she held back. I can't, surprisingly, right now I'm doing this. Nobody's out here to interrupt, interrupt me. Well, I know you might not like opera, Miss Shirley. I know you might not like Ave Maria or something, but that's what Nipsey and Spirit told me to sing to you because you are the grandmother. You are the grand diva. Many of these lives, including Shannon's life, came as a result of you giving birth to her mom. And it basically has upset the whole family that you physically left right now. So you're a pretty big deal here and on the other side. But she's just now realizing a lot of her power and she's claiming a lot of it. I hate that, you know, to see that many of us. Because her, her grandmother was still young. She was in her 80s, early 80s. She still had a lot of life ahead of her. But many times we'll claim our power when we physically, physically die and get outside of the body. Um... And she suffered, one of her illnesses was Parkinson, which takes your memory, takes your mind. And I think, too, when women die from Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson, either there's something they want to forget that they have not dealt with or heartache and pain, they haven't dealt with trauma and stood in their power around it and gave their power away. And so they lose their consciousness. But she has it back now since that was trapped in the physical body. So I'm a... Uh, I probably smell all smoky. I try to have myself wrapped up so my skin wouldn't smell smoky, but probably my clothes smell smoky. I'm going to come back because a lady gave you all a treat. 
she paid me she gave me a donation she heard the video the other day talking about the power of the period and certain things to sanctify and cleanse yourself from your period and she gave me a donation she wanted me to elaborate on some of the things and i said well do you want it for you or you will give it to, to all the ladies she said i want to give it to all the ladies so i told her i couldn't give her everything because there's a difference the way you cleanse yourself if you're celibate and you're single if you're a virgin, you never had sex. If you are single, but you fucking. If you married, but you could be celibate in that relationship. Or if you're married and you're happily married with a man who's doing spiritual sex practices with you. It's a certain way you do those things. I said, so babe, I can't get into all of those. I might touch a little bit, but I can't get into all of it. It's too much. It depends on your category. And she said that she has never had sex. She's a virgin. And she, her mother was very abusive, like mine, similar background. And um, she wants to know how to get it right. So I'm going to take a break. Let me try to drink something. The smoke out of my throat. Ooh, boy. <laughs> now it's coming this way. And I'm going to talk to you soon.